One summer's day, Thomas and Percy were resting at the work sheds. When Bertie the bus arrived, I'm giving my passengers a coach tour, said Bertie. Oh, what kind of a coach tour? asked Thomas. You know, said Bertie, a special coach tour. I'm showing the passengers the sights today. Oh, said Percy, I wonder why. Well, said Bertie, if I see some of the road vehicles, I'll be glad to chase them. But I really shouldn't. Good luck, Bertie, said Thomas. Well, said Bertie, you guys are busy. I'm going to start the coach tour right away. Is it important? asked Percy. Definitely, replied Bertie, and he drove away. Bertie the bus was enjoying himself. Bertie drove through the Scarlowy Railway, where Reneus was waiting on the level crossing. Suddenly, Bertie had to stop at the traffic lights. Bother, said Bertie. Why is the light red? I would disappoint Sir Topham Hatt if he sees this. Just then, he heard a whistle. Tom Tipper, in his mail van, drove by. Oh, a chance for a race, said Bertie. And he drove off before the light had turned green. Bertie enjoyed chasing Tom Tipper. Let's see who wins, said Bertie. The van was driving faster and faster. Bertie tried to catch up, but Tom Tipper was cross. Why is the bus chasing me? said Tom furiously. This time, there was another traffic light. Both Bertie and Tom Tipper had to wait till the light turned green. Will you stop chasing around the island, Bertie, said Tom Tipper. I'm busy making important mail for all the guests on the island of Sodor. <laughs> Sorry, said Bertie. Then he heard an unfamiliar whistle. It was Laurie Three. He also had to get stuck in traffic. What are you doing here, Bertie? said Laurie Three. Finding yourself a route. I'll race you, said Bertie. So Bertie and Laurie Three did, leaving Tom Tipper behind. I want the light to turn green, yelled Tom Tipper. Come back here, bus and glory. Bertie the bus was having a wonderful time racing Lori 3, but Lori 3 wasn't. Lori 3's driver had lost control, and he couldn't stop. Help, cried Lori 3. I can't stop. And he crashed right into the ditch. Bertie saw the accident and stop. Better luck next time, Lori 3, laughed Bertie. Soon, Thomas arrived with the low loader again, when Bertie drove up. There's a hole on the road, said Bertie. There is, said Thomas. I just saw Tom Tipper pass by, and he had crashed into the ditch full of coal. I couldn't do that, so can you get me to the station on time? I'll try, said Thomas happily. Soon, Thomas set off with Bertie the bus. Bertie told Thomas the whole story. I stopped at the red light. And I wanted to race Tom Tipper in his van, and then I wanted to race Lori 3, and Lori 3 had skidded into the ditch, said Bertie. At last, Thomas 
and Bertie had reached the station. Bertie was impressed. Thank you for getting me to the station, Thomas, said Bertie. Thomas was proud. You've been racing a lot today, Bertie, said Thomas. You've raced Tom Tipper, and you've raced Lori 3. So even Bertie the bus had to agree. You're a really useful bus, Bertie, chuckled Thomas.